Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will see how you can uh, protect your Excel sheet. Now, for example, imagine that you have created Excel sheet, something like this. Okay. And you want to share it to your friend or somebody, but you don't want them to access or make any changes on this, right? Maybe you have done some lot of hard work. Uh, somebody asked for the Excel sheet, but you are going to share, but you don't want him to make any changes in the Excel sheet or you don't want him to know what formula you are used and all right. So in that case, what you're supposed to do. So there is option called as protective or this option called as to protect the Excel sheet. So you go to this uh, option called as uh, review. So in the review, you can see there is option called as protect sheet. First, let me unprotect it. I'll put a password and I'll tell you how it has to be done. Yeah. So this is a kind of a when you go to the review option, you get option called as protect sheet. Okay. So come here, click on the protect sheet. So it will ask you for a password. Now you can put any password that you require. Okay. Let me put a password. Let us say uh, I'll put a password uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. Four times I put pass uh, 0. Okay. That is my password. And I'll say okay. Then it will ask me to re enter the password. I'll say 0, 0, 0, 0. And I'll say okay. Fine. So you see now what is, ha what is happening. Now the moment I click on this, it's asking me. The cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet, you might be requested to enter a password. That means now imagine a situation, you have sent this file to your friend. Okay. So your friend can only check what is written here. Your friend can only check what is written here. But he cannot make any changes. Suppose let us say I want to change the mark of uh, marks of Aman Kumar. So the moment I click on this, I'll say double click. Okay, sorry, I'll do it here. I, the moment I do the double click here, you can see the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. So in that case, I have to come here. I have to click on unprotect sheet. And only if you know the password or maybe the user if has, or the, your friend, if you have shared the password with you, you put 0, 0, 0, 0 and say, okay, now I can make a changes. Now you see, can, can you see here? I'm able to do editing here, right? Got it. So this is a one way of doing. Now coming to the another part. Now let us say you want to share this Excel sheet to your friend and you have done the protection of this. But the problem is, let us say, I'll just uh, delete the science marks. Okay. Okay. Now imagine a situation. Uh, you are a class teacher. Uh, okay. And mathematics, math, math, math and science is taken care by you. So you know what is the marks of a student. So you have put the marks. Now you want to, okay, wait, let me do this one thing. I'll change this to English now. Okay. I'll change this to English. English. Okay, fine. So imagine you are a mathematics and science teacher and you have done the input of students marks, but you are not an English teacher. You want to fill the marks. So you will be sending this particular sheet to an English teacher. But again, you don't want your English teacher to make any changes in the marks of mathematics and science. That means my condition is different. Now my condition is that I want to protect this Excel sheet. Okay. That's the first thing. Second is I want this only the English marks to be put by the English teacher. I don't want any changes to happen in the mathematics and the science. In the previous case, what used to happen everywhere it was protected. But here we'll do the protection to the sheet, but we'll allow the English teacher to input the English marks here. How we are going to do that? It's very simple. So first again, I'll say protect sheet. Okay. Now I'll put a password like one, two and three. And I'll say, okay. Again, I'll put the password one, two, three, and I'll say, okay. Now you see the moment I click here, it is asking me for a password. Okay. Okay. I'll do one thing. Let me select this. Okay. I'll right click. Uh, wait, let me unprotect it once because previously I had unprotected. That is why I'm getting this problem. Let me do that. Let me fix it. I'll select it. I'll right click, go to format cells. Yeah. So. Yeah, let me tell you how it has to be done. Again, I'll repeat the same thing. I'll say I'll protect sheet. I'll put a password one, two, three, and I'll say okay. Okay. Again, one, two, three. Okay. Now you see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me do. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah. Let me let me make one small changes. Okay. So because. Yeah. First, I'll unprotect it say one two three just hold on for a minute okay it's very simple i'll tell you protect sheet protection okay it is already locked no fine okay 
now let me do that protect sheet password is one two three I'll say okay okay Three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. See. Now what I have done? I have, I have done the protection of a sheet, right? See. If I try to make a changes, it is giving me a warning. If I try to make a marks change in the science portion, it is asking me for the password. Again, if I come to the English, it is also asking me the password. But my requirement was that when it comes to the English. It should not ask me a password, but when it go to the math, science, marks, it has to ask me the password, right? So in that case, what you're supposed to do, first I'll unprotect the sheet. I'll say one, two, three, and I'll say, okay. Okay. Now I'll select this much portion. I'll select this much portion. Okay. Because only the English marks has to be input by the English teacher. So I'll select this much portion. I'll right click on my mouse. This option called as format cells. This option called as format cells. Click on that come to the protection you see this option locked and hidden so whenever you protect your sheet all the cells will be locked so now what i want i want this english cell not to be locked even though i do the protection of my sheet my english column whatever marks i'm supposed to input that should be unlocked so i'll click on this that means it is unlocked and i'll say okay now okay and now i'll go to protect sheet and i'll say i'll give a password like one two three and i'll say okay and again one two three and okay now you see the changes if i double click here it is asking me for a password if i double click on the science portion it is asking me for for the formal for the uh, password but if i click on english you can see it is not asking me anything because i have unprotected this now the, i'll be sending this file to the english teacher so the english teacher will and input the marks she can do this okay but she cannot make any changes in the mathematics portion if she come to the mathematics you see it will ask for the password if you are not sent her the password, so there won't be any problem in your Excel sheet. Again, if she come to the total, she cannot change. Only she can, she can't even change the, okay. Yeah, here, okay, here it is. Yeah, see even in the name also, she cannot change. Roll number also, she cannot. Only what she can play is only with the English mark. So your English teacher will just uh, put the English marks of a student and she'll send it back to you. Got it, right? So this is how the protection can be done. Now, two types of protection we have seen. One is the entire worksheet protection. Second is specific, like sheet also is protected, but only one particular option you're supposed to uh, make a changes. Now, I'll, there is one more thing. Now, let us say I want her to, or I want uh, for, for the person whom I'm sending this Excel sheet, he can change the format. Format in the sense, for example, see, this is black color, right? The font is black in color. Let us say I want to make this in red in color. So if I select this and if I go to home, I cannot make any changes. See, I've selected this. If I go to the home, that red color symbol, it was here, but it is locked, right? So in that case, what you can do, you can give option for that also, okay? So first I'll go to review. I'll unprotect the sheet. It will ask me for password. It is one, two, three, enter. Okay, so first what I'll do now, I'll say protect the sheet, but here I'll say give permission for format cells. She can format the cell, but not anything else. Like there is other options also. You can also give a permission to insert the row, uh, insert the column, insert the row, format the row. But here I've given option called as format cell. Format cell will do is applicable for column and rows also. If you go for only format column, only the column can be formatted. The rows cannot be formatted. Rather than doing that, go for format cell. Other than that, uh, if you want someone to give access to delete the row, that also can be done. Else you don't click untick all these things. That means no one can delete your row. No one can delete your column. So only they can format the cells. I'll click on format cells. I'll say, okay. Now you see, if I double click here, I cannot make any changes. Okay. But if I come here and go to the home option, now you can see this formatting button is activated. Now, if you want to give a red color to that, let me select and give a red color. It is red in color. So I'll select everything. Okay. Let me give a red color. This format thing I'm able to change. But if I double click and change, try to change the number, it's not happening. Getting my point, right? So th three things we understood. Three things we understood. Yeah. Three things we understood. First is to protect the entire sheet. Second is to protect the entire sheet, but to give uh, access to one single column. Third is to protect the Excel sheet. But if you want to change the formatting, 
like this total they have written this font I if I want to change if I want to make it italic that can be done this instead of yellow color if I want it to be in blue in color that can be done but again I cannot change the number here it will ask me for the password got it so uh, whenever you want to uh, what you call uh, give more protection to excel sheet you can make use of these options and you can uh, put a password to your excel sheet so I hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here so in the next lecture we'll see how we can uh, make use of this formula uh, also to uh, safeguard our formulas now for example even though you are not given a protection even though you are given a protection but if anyone can come and click here he is able to find the formula like what formula you applied it is subtotal this formula you applied now this is okay tomorrow imagine you have done something big excel sheets okay something related to structural engineering and all so even though you have protected your excel sheet but he is able to find what kind of formula you have applied so you can copy that right but i don't want the user to see my formula also i want my formulas to be locked so in the next lecture i'll explain you how you can lock your formulas even though you protect your excel sheet how you can lock your formulas that we'll try to see in the next lecture so we'll see you back in the next lecture Thank you.